Hello class, in this series of a video, we're going to create this uh, car racing game and in this video, we're going to build this whole environment with this uh, road track. Alright, so let's get started. So first step, we're going to set up our project. So you will download the project files from the link I provided on Blackboard. And you will have this uh, project folder that has all of the assets uh, imported. And uh, here we're going to create a plan to test our assets. And then we're going to go to the uh, vehicles folder and we're going to go to the car folder prefabs and drop in the car. And for the plan, let's make uh, the size a little bit bigger. So our car has enough space to run. And we'll need a camera to uh, for, the, for the view. So we're going to drop the main camera into the car and zero out the position info. So it will be parent to the car. The camera is going to follow the vehicle. It's going to render the scene. For any of you, uh, if your plane is very kind of dark, um, it's because the lighting is incorrect. You can just go to the lighting setting and generate lighting. And you're going to bring the color back to normal. Right, and we're going to hide our car and the plane, and we're going to move on to terrain. Uh, so here I would like you to download these uh, three assets. I provided a link on Blackboard as well. So you're going to just go to the link and add to my assets. And then uh, in Unity, go to Package Manager and go to My Assets, and all of the assets are going to show up. And then we'll just download and import the road assets. And then download the conifer assets and for the grass and flowers assets. We're going to import all of them. And then we're going to create a terrain and uh, for the setting, make sure um, to check the terrain width and length as 1000, so we have enough space. And then we can turn on our car and uh, we can place it in the terrain plan, so we can use it as reference to sculpt our, our terrain. And then we're going to go to the Raise and Lower Terrain tool. And we can choose a brush. And you can start to sculpt. And this is the finished look of the terrain I sculpted. So here you can see that I nabbed uh, the path to build our road. And then I'm going to go to the three object, easy road, and I'm going to load it. And I'll go to create a new road object. And here you can keep the name as a default where you can type a name and width. Uh, let's try two or three. And we'll do add a new object. All right. And then you, if you hold on shift and click on the map, you should be able to create a marker point. And then as you hold on shift and click to create the second point, it's going to connect the two points and build this road. Okay, and right now, as you can see, the uh, road is a little bit narrow and we can change it back to five. And we can start to build the road. So as you continue, hold on shift and click on the map, you're going to construct this road. And then to connect these two together, you can just select the next um, point and then hold the shift and click to create a new one and then use the move tool to move it onto the first point and then it's going to merge them together. All right, so let's test the play. And right now the road is really narrow and uh, it's super hard to track you know, on the game and it's super hard to track on the road. So I think we just need to make it wider. So select any of the marker point on the road. 
and we're going to go to the road setting and here for the road width I'm going to change it to 10 and I'm going to change it to 8 and let's see it is easier but I still kind of feel it's too hard to drive on the road Right, so here I'll change it to 10. And then uh, for the places that uh, you know the terrain doesn't match with the road, we can select the marker point on the road and uh, move the marker point up, you know, to bring the road up. Uh, or you can just rotate the specific part of the road. And you can also use the terrain tool to uh, raise or lower a specific part of uh, the terrain. Um, to you know, get the road out of the terrain and also make sure your vehicle is above the ground, above the road and then we're going to you know, select this whole road and go through the whole track and make sure uh, we don't have any part that is overlapped with the terrain so make sure all the parts are above the ground and here I finished the whole thing and then we can start move on to the terrain and we're going to add the trees so here uh, first we're going to go to access folder and create the folder and we're going to rename it as a texture and we're going to drop in the texture files that provided and then basically this grass texture we're going to use it to apply to the whole terrain and we're going to duplicate it and name it grass normal map and we're going to change this texture type to normal and check on create from grayscale and apply so this is going to transfer uh, it to a normal map okay basically a normal map is used to generate the bumps uh, texture on the on the ground and you're going to see it later and uh, select the terrain and go to the pin texture tab and we're going to click on create a new terrain layer and load this grass texture so by default you're going to apply to the whole thing and we're going to drag and drop the uh, normal map onto this normal map channel so you're going to apply it to the whole thing and if you zoom in you can see the bumps on the ground and you can make the tiling size bigger if you want the texture to be bigger and you can also lower down the normal scale if you want it to be less intense and we're going to rename this terrain layer and then we're going to create a new layer and for this new layer, we're going to load our ground texture. So basically, we want to add some dirt and uh, soil around the road. And then let's add third terrain layer and uh, and then we're going to pin some tree around the road to make some solid uh, stone texture all right as we finish this and then we're going to go to pin trees and add tree and here for the prefab we're going to search conifer and we're going to load the default conifer uh, the assets we just imported and by default the brush is going to paint a lot of trees so we can lower down the density and you may also increase the brush size and we're going to add conifers into our map and then we can add another tree and we can add the median the median conifer to just uh, have some variations and if you have accidentally draw the trees on the on the road you can hold on control and click on that you can donate and for some trees that is uh, you can donate you just have to select that specific tree and to donate it so you have to select that type of tree in order to donate that tree in the scene 
right? And then here we're going to add uh, another tree, the third tree, and we're going to add a small tree. And we're going to drop the small tree around the road. Just to create some variations in the scene. Right. As we finish this, we're going to move on to paint details, and we're going to paint grass. So we'll add a grass texture. Uh, so here you can click here and search for grass. You will find the grass texture we have loaded. Or you can just go to the grass flower folder and go to the texture folder, and you will find all of the textures. And then you can just drop in uh, the textures. Make sure you're selected. And you can, you know, select a brush, and then you can just paint the grass on the ground. Okay. After you finish this, you can go back to add grass texture, and here we're going to drag a flower, a red flower to it, and make sure you select that grass layer, and then paint in the scene. So here we're going to paint some red flowers. And then here we'll add an, uh, the third grass texture, so we're going to add a white flower, and make sure you select that layer, and then we're going to draw the white flower in the scene. And here I accidentally draw some grass in here. You uh, just have to select the grass texture layer and then hold on control and you can delete. And this is the finished look of the side of the road. All right, so this is the whole workflow, how we build this environment with uh, the track. And in the next video, we're going to start to add more interactions uh, for the car and the environment.